Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a Sephora haul. I am also gonna be trying out these products because I did get ready with them before I decided to sit down and film with you guys. You guys know that Sephora does put on the big holiday savings event and this one is coming up so soon. So I'm excited that Sephora is partnering with me to bring you guys today's video. If you are not a part of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program, I highly recommend you guys check it out and join. That way you have access to whenever these events happen and with the Sephora Beauty Insider program you have tiers so there's Rouge members there are VIB members and then there's insiders Rouge members get first access as they are the top tier of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program and they get 20% off their order and you can use that as many times as you want during the time of the event. As for the second tier, there are VIB members, so you get 15% off your order. Your dates for accessing the event will be right here and also I'll have all this information down below for you guys just so you know exactly what tier and when you are available to access the event. And then lastly, we have the Insiders tier where you get 10% off and these are the dates in which you can access access the savings event. Sephora doesn't do discounts and stuff like that very often, so you definitely want to take advantage of whenever they have their savings event. If you aren't a part of the Beauty Insiders program, I will have the link down below for you guys to sign up. Also, everything that I share in today's video will be linked down below for you to check out, so definitely take advantage of the holiday savings event, and let's just jump right into the haul. So to start off, we have the Sephora, uh, I'm, I'm trying to say it in French, so this is the Sephora Ultra Glow Serum. This has vitamin C and E in it. The fact that it's a serum, I love, but at the same time, it's super lightweight. Kind of reminds me of like an essence almost. I have been wanting to try the Sephora Collection brand because I know their skincare is, I've heard really great things about their skincare. So um, I really wanted to give this a try. You guys know I love anything that's like a glowy serum. And when I was using this this morning, you could see how much glow was added to my skin just from using the serum. So um, I'm really excited to continue using this because it's such an easy thing to put in to my skincare routine. You guys know this is my favorite mascara ever. It's the Ilia Limitless Matte Lash Mascara. This is probably the best mascara I've ever used. And even though I know that there are a ton of different types of mascaras to go for, I love how it separates my lashes, but also so just lengthens my um lashes as well and I just love the effect it gives. It's just one of those products that I constantly go through. As you could see this morning when I was applying my mascara, I really focused on the outer lashes as well and it just kind of builds but doesn't get clumpy. I just love the way it makes my lashes look and um, it definitely holds a curl as well. So if you're looking for a really good lengthening mascara that separates well lengthens and also can build, um, definitely check this out. I have been wanting to pick up a vegan boar bristle brush for a while and Another product that I did pick up is the Vegan Boar Bristle Brush. So I have been wanting to get a boar bristle brush for a while and I saw this one on Sephora like a few weeks ago and it was sold out and so I was like ugh. And then eventually it came back in stock so I snagged it before um, it sold out again and I really really like it. This is what it looks like. It's just this really pretty lavender lilac brush and it has vegan boar bristle brushes so bristles <laughs> no boars were harmed during this process i just love the way that these types of brushes make my hair feel especially like with my extensions i find myself having to brush my hair so much because my hair gets tangled really easily and i just love how this adds a ton of shine detangles really well and just makes my hair super soft so um, if you're looking for a nice brush, this is a good one. It's the Briogeo brand and I really, really like it. And you know, it sells out, so that kind of speaks to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I was able to get my hands on it. I have been seeing this all over TikTok. I saw Tinks talking about it and everybody's just kind of hopping on this bandwagon and I finally was like, okay, I'm just gonna try it because I feel like TikTok makes you buy everything. But anyway, this is the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. So I have seen incredible 
videos on TikTok and on social media of people trying this and saying how incredible it is. So I was like, I have to try it. And I'm a really big fan of Caudalie to begin with. I'm always looking for a good mask, especially now I wear so much makeup on days where I have to film and shoot and all that stuff. So I really like to give my skin a break and find a really good mask. So the Caudalie one, I've heard really great things that I will update you guys on social media. Another product that I have been like debating on picking up. So I recently had a photo shoot and a makeup artist was doing my face and we were just like getting along and like vibing so well. And she put the La Mer, the renewal oil on my skin and something like happened to me and I had no idea that she was using that on me. I just like kind of had my eyes closed and she was applying it on my face and I opened my eyes and I looked at my skin and I was like, what did you just put on my face? And she goes, I used the La Mer Renewal Oil and I was like, <laughs> it's one of those products that is just so expensive. So of course I ended up picking up the small size and the Renewal Oil I used today um, on top of the Glow Serum. You guys, this stuff makes your makeup go on so smooth. Like, especially with the under eyes. Like, I kind of just applied it also, like, underneath my eyes. And it just made my skin look so incredible. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I hate the fact that I love this so much. I think this was, like, I don't even know how much this was. I think it was, like, $100 or something like that just for this bottle. Let me, let me look. Um, this was 140 bucks for not even one fluid ounce. It's $260 for uh, one ounce. Oh, it's still so expensive. I don't understand. But anyway, this stuff is really good and obviously there's like magic in it or something. So that's it for skincare. The rest is makeup products and I'm just gonna kind of run through these as fast as possible. So this is also a product that I've been seeing all over social media. It's the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush and this one is in the shade Love. And this is by Rare Beauty. I have not tried anything from Rare Beauty yet and so I wanted to give it a go and try test it out. You guys know how much I love liquid blushes. And this one is um, matte, which is great. And I love the color. It's like this burnt orange terracotta shade. And I was so impressed with how like pigmented this was. Because I went ahead and kind of added like three dots on this cheek. And you'll see like it was so pigmented that I was like, holy cow, I do not need that much. So a little bit goes a long way. And it's so beautiful because it sort of just diffuses into the skin and has, I want to say it kind of feels like a powder, but when you look at it and touch it, you can see that it still has that liquid consistency, but it like stays put. So I really am so impressed by these. I get why everyone like raves about these now because they are really good and I do want to definitely try out other stuff. Like I said, this is in the shade Love. It's what I have on right now. So beautiful. I do have um, a powder blush on tops, which you'll see in a second. So kind of on like the cream and liquids is this. So this is from the brand Westman Atelier. I was really impressed by the shade. That's why I was really interested in trying this. And I'm always looking for like a good contour stick because I use bronzers, but I don't like have one that's in like a stick form that I like as much. So I figured I would try this one out and I was really surprised by it. It's this very luxurious packaging. As you can see, like it's this black bullet and then it's this magnetic top. I like how it's like sort of smaller because you can have a lot of control and I love the shade of this. I went ahead and kind of did my regular contour and it blends out like a dream and I'm still in love with the shade. Like I love the shade that it has on my chin. I think for my skin tone this was like a perfect shade. So this is in the shade Truffle. Definitely check this out if you're somebody who's kind of my skin tone and is looking for a nice contour stick. This is good. I really wanted to try out the Rose Ink um, 
concealer. So I didn't use any foundation today. Everything was concealer based and I mainly used these and these are the soft light luminous hydrating concealers and these were so stunning. So while I was applying this and I was like looking in the mirror like applying this I was like oh yeah this like blends out really well and then I looked in on camera and it looks so flawless on. It almost looks like I have like a foundation on but I would say that this is not totally like full coverage but you can definitely build it but I think because it's this luminous hydrating um, consistency it does look more on the natural side I was really impressed by this and I love the packaging it's kind of this frosted glass right here and I was really surprised by the applicator too it's really big um, I really liked the way that this created my base for the day However, I will say I picked up kind of the wrong shade. It was sort of hard for me to distinguish which was my shade and which wasn't, so I picked up two different shades. So I have this shade here. This was in LX100, which I thought was gonna be my shade. This is LX110, and this one's a little bit more yellow tone. So as you can see, this is more of like a pinky undertone and this is more of like true to my skin tone um so i kind of went over my entire face with this and then i tried to brighten a little bit with this one so i did pick up two huda beauty um what is it called huda beauty easy bake loose powders so i picked them up in the shade cupcake and banana bread i have been trying so many different powders i'm going through a phase right now where i'm really enjoying powders. I feel like they look really good on camera. They look amazing in pictures and I really feel like that's what makes your skin kind of have that airbrush look. I did pick up banana bread in the mini size just because I have tried so many different like yellow toned powders, loose powders, and the only one I really like go back to is the translucent honey one and by Laura Mercier. I love this one but I wanted something that was a little bit more bright so I could create a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes. I like that the banana bread one is lighter. So love this for me and I like the small travel size too because it does like have this interesting contraption where you twist and then it has this. But to be honest you guys like this is just too big for my face like where I need to like apply this product. It's hard to it's not you don't have a lot of control. So I just kind of shake the powder and then dip my beauty sponge in. And then I picked up, I wanted to pick up Cupcake in the smaller size, but of course they didn't have it. But I kind of feel like I should be using the Cupcake shade in this size and the Banana Bread shade in this size, but it's fine. I have been kind of obsessed with like creating a really seamless under eye. And I feel like the Kardashians are a really great example of that look. And apparently the key to that is to have some kind of like pink undertone powder and this one is really good you guys like I'm so surprised especially for my skin tone I was kind of like is this gonna even work um, but I can show you guys what it looks like here it doesn't look like much but you can see it has sort of this really light pink undertone like baby baby pink it almost looks white, but it's not. It's it, You can definitely tell, especially when you put it on your skin, how much it does brighten. So for instance, I'll take a little bit, I'll show you guys. And I'm just gonna apply it right here. And look at how that brightens. I swear it's like the pink or something. I am literally in love. Like it looks so good. And I'll just do a little bit just to balance it out. But like, do you see how, first of all, how flawless my under eyes look right now. Like even on camera, I don't see a pore. There's not a pore in sight. This is amazing. I use it in the way that works for me and I love the way it turned out. Like these two are incredible. So if you're looking for some really great loose powders um, that'll brighten, this is really good. So the other product I did pick up was this Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Eyes to Mesmerize <laughs> Long Lasting Easy Color. And this one is in the shade Star Gold. So I really wanted to, cause you guys know, I always put like my blush, my cream blush or whatever blush I'm wearing on my eyes, which I'll always stand by that like look, but I wanted something that was still creamy, but had a little bit of sparkle, but still wasn't like too much that I could apply onto my lid. And this 
is it, you guys. Look how stunning, first of all, this shade is. Do you see this? It's just this like hint of sparkle. And I love how it's like this bronzy gold tone. And it is so pigmented, you guys. Like when you apply it, you just like see how seamless it goes on it's stunning i love it so much and i'm really glad i picked it up it's a really pretty formula um doesn't crease or transfer once you put it on it's pretty much there for good until you take it off um but yeah i just really really like it and i honestly feel like this is such a beautiful this would be like a really pretty highlight for like deeper skin tones and then i did pick up the new nars high profile uh cheek palette they always come out with these every uh, year for the holidays and this one looks like a ton of ribbons wrapped all over a present <laughs> and um, I love the shades of these this year so beautiful I don't really hair so this is what it looks like all these tones are really really appropriate I feel like for all skin tones they have some blushes that'll be beautiful for some deeper skin tones you have some that are really complementary to medium to light skin tones and then you have this beautiful gorgeous highlight and these shades you will not find as a single blush these are all so they're all limited edition blushes and i'm just really glad i picked them up i love a good like blush palette i think i used this one and this one um on top like right here on top of the rare beauty blush this would be like a really great gift as well for the holidays and then also i wanted to share with you guys uh, this isn't something I picked up, but you can find this on Sephora.com or in store. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked Palette. I love whenever they create these palettes. This year is a little different. We have like kind of like an aluminum uh, palette that's like magnetic. It's kind of hard for me to open with my nails. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So these are the blushes. I have the bronzer. This is the strobe powder. So this is like the highlight shade, which is what I have on my cheekbones and then I used the uh, bronzer all over the face. I love the Hourglass Radiant Blushes. They're my favorite. I think the way that they've created them is so beautiful because they're not matte and they're also very like multi-dimensional because it has this marbling through it as you can see here and it looks so natural. I love the way it looks and I'll just apply this on the parameters of my face. So just a nice palette to have on deck and also another palette I've been really in about as you could tell um, I didn't pick this up for the savings event but I did pick this up from Sephora recently and it's the Hoola Contours Complete Bronze and Contour Palette so this is every Hoola shade in a palette and I have been loving this so we have the um, original Hoola, which is right here. This is Hoola Light, this is Hoola Caramel, and this is Hoola Toasted. So I love these two the most. I use this one on top of my cream contour to do my nose. I love the toasted shade because it blends out really beautifully. And then the Hoola Caramel shade is also really pretty as a contour to warm but also define structure of your face or you know manipulate the structure of your face so this is also a really great palette if you're looking for something that's going to kind of be perfect for all year round so this is great to kind of play around with and i just really like it it's in this like simple tiny cardboard packaging and it's just great love the oh i forgot to mention oh my god okay and then the last but not least we have these two lip products so this is what I have on my lips right now. They're just uh, lip liners, and these are the Melt Perfectionist Lip Ultra Persistent. Pers I recently just got like Botox here, so if I'm talking funny or if like my mouth looks weird, that's why. Perfectionist Lip Ultra Precision Pencil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I got mine in the shade Cashmere and Cinnamon. I like the formula of it. It reminds me a lot of the formula of the O Coco one of the Marc Jacob lip liners. And so this one is cinnamon and then this one is cashmere. I love the way it looks and I applied this all over my lips and then I lined like the parameter, the rim of my mouth with the cinnamon shade and that's what came out so these aren't completely matte as you can see they kind of have a satin sort of finish um, because they're not completely matte but I like that because they do kind of look like I'm wearing like a lipstick or 
like a balm or something underneath my lips. Uh, but no, it's just these two and I think that these worked out really well. So I'm a really big fan of the Melt lip liners. I'm still on the hunt. I'm gonna keep looking for a dupe of the o Coco lip liner because I know, I know, it's such a sad, it's such a tragic story. So that is it for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I always love sharing with you guys like hauls. It just takes me back to like the OG days where we would like do hauls and share everything that we like recently bought. It was always so exciting, but now like things are just so different. But any excuse to share with you guys like a Sephora haul, I love doing them. So definitely thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. If you like these, if you wanna see more hauls, let me know. Definitely take advantage of the Sephora savings event. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. So definitely check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there are any products that you are planning on putting into your holiday savings event cart, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.